Hello, visuals, and welcome back to this is a, my favourite podcast so far. Do you know why, Chris? Why is that, Daniel? Because I don't know if you've noticed, but I like to collect Lego. Fucking yes. love Lego. I've kind of noticed. And Lego, whenever they release new sets, reveal little insight knowledge to up and coming Marvel films, like they did with Superman in uh, Justice League. Yeah. They had Superman with one of the sets before the film was out, so it was like, all right, so Superman's alive. Yes. And they've just dropped their Infinity War line. Which has given a lot of insight to what's going down. So we're going to dissect. We're going to look at and look at the evidence and the plot reveals that they've just released. Okay. Are you ready, Chris? I think so. Now, the biggest one. Now, the thumbnail, people, it's pointing to a lot of stuff. We should solve all of that um, in this now. But me and you both said, I'm pretty sure we both said, that scene with the Hulkbuster, which looks to be in Uganda, that's not... It can't be Iron Man and that. The way he jumps and the way it lands, it's either remote-controlled or it's got a Hulk inside of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they've just released the Hulkbuster smash-up set. There's no Iron Man in the set. There's no one else. There's just the Falcon, the Hulkbuster outfit, and Bruce Banner. Okay. Bruce Banner obviously turns into the Hulk. Yeah. But we do see a little clip of him looking round and looking back and seeing the Hulkbuster come. So we don't know if it's him coming and then Bruce Banner getting it as him, or Bruce Banner getting it as the Hulk. A Hulk inside of a Hulkbuster itself is crazy. Mm -hmm. But that, that leads on to a bit of fucking hecticness. And we've also got which characters come with it. And that's it. You've got Falcon, Proximia, Midnight, and Outrider. There's a lot of Outriders that are like the little villains. Right, that are right. in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, overpowered Proxima Midnight and the Outrider with Bruce Banner's Hulkbuster. It physically says on the description, with Bruce Banner's Hulkbuster. Is that confirmation? We're going to get Bruce Banner inside the Hulkbuster. Maybe. It fucking is, Chris. Lego doesn't fucking lie. Lego doesn't lie. It's interesting though, isn't it? Really? Because we see the Hulk as the Hulk in Cap's little charge in the trailer. Mm. Remember? Yeah. And you see War Machine and that all fly in the background and stuff. Haven't they just put it forward <laughs> as well? To April? 27th. We WrestleMania and... Two Infinity days War? before my birthday. <gasps> Chris, what are you going to get me for your birthday? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know what you're going to get me for your birthday. <laughs> right, now this is a duo one. Chris, give us a quick little lullaby while I sip some coffee. I don't know one. <clears throat> Hush your bye, baby, on the treetop. Lovely. In this next. Oh, so carry on. Baby, you hey, carry, hey, carry on, mate. If you want to, <laughs> hey, I'm not going to stop you. Okay. All right. Know. We all seen the trailer as well of Chris Hensworth. The eye patch, who the hell are you guys? Yes. But then in that extra 30 seconds clip, we see him riding in some sort of pod with Rocket Raccoon in front of him. There's a set here called Four's Weapon Quest. Okay. It's in an escape pod from what looks to be like a broken Guardian ship. It doesn't say Milano anywhere. With just Rocket and Groot and a load of different weapons. I reckon that's Bjarnborg, his axe that he gets. But it's called Four's Quest. And the description... You get four Rocket Raccoon and Groot. Join four Rocket Raccoon and Groot on a filling Avengers mission. Mission, Thor's weapon quest. This superhero toy is an escape pod and an opening cockpit for three minifigures. So that's obviously tying into this next set, Chris. Okay. This is Thanos' ultimate battle. We see what it looks like the Milano, but it's not the Milano. What is it then? I have no idea. But it ties in, obviously, this is called Fort Thanos' Ultimate Battle. Yeah. Right? So I'm assuming we get a space-suited Iron Man there. The Infinity Gauntlet's right there. They're battling over the gauntlet. Thanos must absolutely destroy their ship. Groot, Rocket Raccoon, in fa uh, four, leave on that escape pod to go find for his weapon after it's just been the Milano's or whatever this ship is has been smashed. Yeah. That must be what that's leading on to. But then why Spy uh, Iron Man there? We didn't see Iron Man in the trailer linking up with them boys. We just seen four. Yeah. Um, the description for this one, Chris. Fly into conflict on a uncharted planet aboard the Guardian ship. See, it doesn't say Milano. Uh, with Iron Man, Star-Lord, Gamora and this Lego Marvel superheroes with, um, with giant Thanos. Um, the Guardian ship, that's all it keeps saying. And two minifigures sitting on a scooter. Flip up. <laughs> flip up scooter so oh, yeah the, flip -up scooter. <laughs> the tie in must be that then surely towards the start of the film we've seen uh, four get picked up um, they must contact space did Iron Lego Man. know the crap they the know movie. the plot is that why they yeah, that's they... what I mean they, they know the plot they know, that's why they have to design they release that though 
They've done it with all the other sets. They did it with Justice League. They did it with Civil War. They did it with um, the Spider-Man Homecoming. And they did them all right. All right. So Thanos must... And they're, they're fighting over the gauntlet. So who's got the gauntlet? Did the Guardians pick it up from somewhere? Did uh, Four pick it up from somewhere? Did Thanos already have it? Because we did see that cut scene of him saying, I'll do it myself. Mm. And then because they've got one of the gems with them, mm. destroys their Guardian ship, not the Milano. So four and that go flying off. This, oh, this, this, this one, though, is the Pierre Resistance. Uh, so, so far, we've got Bruce Banner's Hulkbuster. Yep. Thanos Battle. Yep. Four Finders Weapon. This yep. one, this set is called Sanctum Sanctorum Showdown. And what we have here is a Spider-Man suit with his uh, legs that come up from the back. Mm -hmm. We don't see that in the trailer. And they actually call it the Iron Spider. And in the description, it says that Peter Parker's flat is attached to the Sanctum Sanctorum and there's a pizzeria. <laughs> Don't think the pizzeria's got anything to do with it. Surely not. Um, this comes with the Iron Spider-Man. It doesn't say Spider-Man. It's the Iron Spider-Man. Iron Man, Doctor Strange, Ebony Moore, and plus Cool Ob Obsidian, big figure, um, which is a bad guy. We're cool coming out with Thanos and stuff. Um, Sanctum Sanctorum showdown between Iron Man, Spider-Man, Iron Man, and Doctor Strange and, a, and the supervillains. This is all action set features a foldable, three-level New York City building, including Doctor Strange's Sanctum Sanctorum with an exploding wall function. Mm. So is the Sanctum Sanctorum going to get fucked up? Maybe. Why is Peter Parker now living next door to him? I have no idea. And we have confirmation that Peter Parker, Iron Spider-Man, is going to get his legs. It's that, confirmed. I'd love to live in Pizza Pizza. I'd love to solve Pizza Ring. That'd be sick as fuck. Mm -hmm. So that's, you know, obviously at the start... In the trailer, we see them. We see Iron Man lined up with Wong, Doctor Strange. Yeah, yeah. There's another one there. I'm sure there's another one there. I'm sure Bruce Banner's there at that point as well. We still need that connection of how Bruce Banner's going to get to Wakanda. So basically, so far, the film sounds like it's going to be good. <laughs> it's going to be fucking mint if these Lego sets, uh, from what these Lego sets are saying. But then they would need to try <laughs> to figure out who actually gets killed off. Yeah, who gets killed off. We've got another little... <laughs> Kind of reveal set, the Corvius Glaive Fresher Attack. Uh, yeah, Fresher Attack. This is in Wakanda, so we know Wakanda's going to get attacked by Thanos and his boys somewhere. Vision's in that spot mm -hmm. with Black Panther and all of them. Their description, you get Vision, Shuri. You remember Shuri from Black Panther. Mm -hmm. Black Panther himself and uh, Outrider and some other stuff. So the, um, the attack that Thanos is setting on Wakanda, they're obviously wanting the Vibranium. You hit the right spot, the wall explodes. There's going to be some sort of Thanos attack, wanted vibranium in Uganda. Yeah. That much is confirmed. And this last set, I don't think it it, it leaves too much. Outrider dropship attack, right? Dropship, we've got Cap there. But the biggest thing is, you know, we we'll contemplate what the hell's Cap's weapon? What's he got there? These state Cap's weapon, weapons include Captain America's two Ugandan shields. Two Wugandan shields. A lot of people were contemplating what's their weapons he got. Is it like new arm thingies? Is it arm bands, arm wrists? But Lego was saying that it's Wugandan shields, and we get the obviously mm. um, Black Panther. Somebody get this man a shield. Horrible impression. But it's confirmed that they're two shields. Yeah. So Lego is dropping all the bombs on that set as well. You get um, Black Widow, you get her two little batons, a couple of villains. <coughs> Lego have done it. They've, uh, they've, they've, they have, like. they've confirmed a shitload. That ship's going to get destroyed. Guardians are going to be in disarray. They're, I don't know what planet. It says they're on a planet. So they must land up on a planet. Thanos destroys them all there. Four escapes. He needs to go find himself a weapon. The Sanctum Sanctorum may get absolutely smashed up. Uh, I am uh, Spider-Man's got his arms. Sounding good to me. <laughs> any thoughts on how any of this house can connect? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Nah, I think Lego solid. <laughs> <laughs> and the the biggest one for me though is the confirmation of Bruce Banner's Hulkbuster. I think that's yeah, awesome. Yeah, that, that was the mystery one for us, wasn't it? Yeah, because like I said, like... the way it landed, mm. it was like that's not a typical Iron Man landing. It's usually nice and clean when he lands. It's sounding good. I can't believe you're already thought to it. I'm pure excited because I was I was on the shitter earlier. And then I just got the the tweet saying new Infinity War Lego set to be able to thought, Yes, I'm gonna buy them. Read through. Oh my god. Have you bought them yet? Oh no no, I'll buy them on um, after Comic Con because I'm saving up for that. So I'm spending monies. But uh, it's good because I mean that there's the Sanctum Sanctorum set's so ninety quid. Cool. That's like thirty. That's forty. That's sixty. That's that's only eleven, and that's twenty five. So you're looking at like two hundred ish quid just for Lego. 
Talk, Chris, I'm going to down again. That's half my rent. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm excited now. I love the letter because, like I said, they confirmed Superman in um, Dawn of Justice, mm-hmm. Justice League, that he was right there on the box. All right, so Superman's alive. We have confirmation of some other stuff. The story is kind of piecing together a bit more. There's a couple Slowly of links. How Bruce Banner gets from New York, the Sanctum Sanctorum, to um, Wakanda. Which part takes first? Does Wakanda come first? And then this. Where's this planet out that the Guardians are fighting on? Do we see the Guardians picking up four first? How does Iron Man in his space sort of armor? Yeah, there is still a lot of questions, but like I say, we, we don't really want to answer them. <coughs> we want to just watch the film. I've, I've been theorising all morning, talking to my mum about it. My mum's like, Daniel, I don't know. And I'm like, Mum, what does this all mean? Because like I said, the Thanos ultimate battle with that set, they're on a planet. So we're going to get an Iron Man in space on a different planet. Maybe not his father's planet. No, you mean Star-Lord's planet. Mm. Is the got destroyed, Ego got destroyed, didn't it? <laughs> um, with the attachment and Finish Stones other collectible, it doesn't say which stones that, they, that this set comes with. If it... <sighs> There's also that uh, whole thing about... There was a rumour that Spider-Man's going to die for a split sec. You see when his, he gets his goosebumps mm. and he's in his regular suit and he goes to stop, <coughs> pardon me, Thanos. Yeah. But then um, all of a sudden he's back on the same thing in his iron suit. But before that you see the scene of Iron Man come down and pick up one of Doctor Strange's spells who has the Eye of Agamotto, the time gem. Yeah. So is Spider-Man going to die for a split sec? Iron Man uses the time gem to go back in time for a little second, mm. give him his iron suit and then he can go up. Yeah. If that happens, fucking... I mean, I'm going to cry for that split second like you've killed fucking Tron, man. But it'd be meant if, if it plays out that way. These sets aren't kind of saying it's going to play out that way. Do you still think they'll kill Christoph? Uh, well, he's arguably the biggest, one of the biggest characters on this, but he's in the smallest set. Mm. I, I'm sure I mean, and, and like, we were, like, I've seen some... Well, we've discussed it a, a few times, but, yeah. but I think they are making way for the old... Not for the new lot. Yeah, the, the new gen of so. MCU lot. We've got Iron Man in one, two sets. He's in two sets. We get Black Panther in one set. Um, Hulkbuster in one set. You get Guardians split up in a set each. And then Captain America in the smaller set. But it may be a key set because it's in um, an invasion set. Yeah. So I think, yeah, maybe him. And anyway, that's the only scene as well that I can't quite put together. You, you remember this scene? There's a, a little bit in the trailer where four, he's pushing together two things, really, like he's probably struggling. Yeah. That kind of looks like it could be whatever that is. You know, he holds it from both ends and he's trying to pull it together. Is it like a time warp or something? Yeah, it's, it's probably mad. In the description, it doesn't say too much. Uh, plus a space station with a cosmic power source. Mm. So is four going to bring that together? Um, craft, if it is beyond Borg, it might not be. Um, but it's a hammer, so I'm hoping it is. And the only other thing is that Lego don't always... Uh, no, they do always pay attention to detail because the Nick Furies have got eye patches. But if you look carefully, that's just a four with two eyes. You know what I mean? He should have his eye patch on. Mm-hmm. So is his eye going to get cured? I don't know how because of the fucking eye. Unless it's something they've just missed off. Attention to detail. Lego are usually spot on with. Exactly. He could get his eye fixed in Wakanda. He could. They could give him some sort of crazy fucked up. Um, his sister could make an appearance again. Helena could come back. And well, she Thanos, could help Thanos. She's the god of death, and he's mm-hmm. in love with death. So them two could tie together easily. And she was the one with the fucking time thingy. Um. So. I'm basically all morning. I lost my shit when they released these sets. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like I said, they dropped so much information. You're kind of surprised how they're allowed to, like... Yeah, that's what I was thinking, considering the, the films are not released for another two months. But I don't think a lot of people actually look into Lego sets. It's only the past few films when I've been seeing the correlations. Like, hang on a sec, you release these sets before the films, and then you're giving away the plots. Like, uh, the Spider-Man bank job, as they call it, must be seen where Spider-Man tries to stop the Vulture from getting some whatever he's getting. Yeah. Boom, that happened in the film. <laughs> Lego, are the, we need to break into Lego and see what information they've got we do but visuals if you've got any thoughts on what we've just said in the comments below if you're looking forward to Infinity War if you're not then there's something wrong with you but uh, yeah visuals go check out the Lego stuff yourself and you can see all the stuff that we've been looking at and uh, keep being you and keep building on <laughs> Lego jokes love you <laughs> he shakes his head <laughs>